Greetings, everyone. Welcome back. Everything is go. Right. I know where to find the information that we need to solve the dragon mystery. We need to go to the library. I'm stuck. Am I? Okay, crawl through. Nope, still need to crawl. Maybe now. All right. Um. Oh, I did forget to check if we can actually get uh, Groom a birthday gift. I'm not sure about what to get him. So I mentioned in the last episode that I, I do... I have read somewhere about how many scales a dragon has because it's printed in the manual. Which was a bit of a... Um, ambience stopped all of a sudden. Oh, there it is again. Which felt like a bit of a spoiler because all of a sudden you kind of knew already that there were, were going to be um, dragons. Or a dragon in this case. Can can I just fall down? Will we survive? Oh yeah. Ah! Oh. <laughs> kind of delayed there. So I want to go to, uh, yeah, over here. I'm wondering if we have not read that, if I've not opened that book at all in this playthrough, or if you have to reread it to actually get the answer. So I'm close to having played mm. this game for 40 hours. But that is not just this playthrough, clearly. That's probably... Uh, it was probably me kind of ch playing the game a bit on and off at the start just to see if it ran. Then I tried to do a full playthrough and I got pretty far but then I quit. And now, plus this playthrough, I guess that all comes down to 40 hours. The races of Arcs. Yes, sir. This should be it. In the, uh, there it is. Very little is known about dragons. However, scholars have noticed that there are 4,815 scales on every specimen studied. Okay. Do we now magically know how many scales there are? Let your mind lose itself in this library. And perhaps you will find some volume to help you. Right. Thank you. Could it be because we're wearing bulky armor that we're not that we cannot pass him? I don't know. So four eight one five. Uh, I don't know if we're just well. Let's go speak to the dragon. See if we now magically know. Well, magically we read it, or maybe we have to figure out how to actually split gold because I do not know the goblin prison that's where I need to go is that the hmm, there's one left no guess so oh yeah Was there actually a way to get back to the dragon now, or do we need to still need to levitate over there? 
Doesn't matter, I have to spell, but... last time. Did I actually... I think I kind of... Give myself a little... height. Uh, do I remember the spell? I think it was this. And a Z? There we go. If I don't look forward, it doesn't flicker. Maybe it's the uh, this effect that makes the screen. It might actually be. Huh. Anyway. Shortcut, I believe. Let's see. <laughs> yep, all right. Maybe I should have taken the book with me. So, have you brought my gold? Yeah. What are you doing, Guardian? Counting my scales? I shouldn't Don't do this. Don't you think there might be other ways of finding out how many scales a dragon has? Don't you know how to read? I do. Some is correct, Guardian. <laughs> Take this egg, and may the wisdom of dragons guide your sword. Alright, um, so now we need to cast the spell, I think, if that works. So I did read on the wiki that you could still actually fight the dragon at this point you'd get the xp you'd get the l although i don't know if he drops any loot but then you can get the other dragon eggs as well don't really know how uh i guess we may as well check if we can where's the dragon egg there it is okay and and then enchant weapon we have a spell that does that i think enchant object gives magic properties to an object in front of the spellcaster depending on the reactive substances that are near the object what does the um how many skills? Okay. Nope, it didn't actually update. No, wait, that's the wrong way around, I think. Come on. Cast it? 
Maybe I don't have... Paralyze, levitate, protection from fire, dispel field, create field, flying eye, curse, levitate, raise dead, mana drain, magic missile. Something is wrong. Okay. Um. I keep forgetting them. Okay. Ah! Here's something new. Ready to be enchanted? So do I have to use the spell again? Media sword. Uh, uh, did, it, did it update? The time has come for me to fulfill my mission. I will go to the Il Sid bunker now and destroy Isurbius. Or should I say Akbar? Does it glow when we. Yeah. Thank you, dragon. We are off. So we should be able to get to that place pretty easily, shouldn't we? I think we can get there through the goblin level. I did it last time, kind of by mistake. Kind of curious now if there's much more to this game. Will it have, um, well, it can never be that bad. I, I always remember the ending of um, the original Rage. I remember being, actually knowing about the abrupt ending in that game and still, <laughs> and even with knowing it ends abruptly, it still oh! felt really abrupt. game really felt like um, they were, I don't know, 80% uh, done, 70% done, kind of story-wise, and it was just, okay, it has to be out by tomorrow. <laughs> Finish the thing. Alright, here's a level that's just a few hallways and a very uh, awkwardly done ending video. It's been a long time though since I played that. I think I kind of I kind of liked it apart from the ending. <laughs> uh, I think I might have passed it already. No, I have not. It's this way. Let's go see Akbar. I wonder if we'll get any closure in the um, uh, with the daughter of the king being weird in that video where we brought her back the ring. Basically turned into a demon face for, for a bit. Oh, it's not here anymore. Um. 
Right, that's the security system. Bunker, but this wasn't this the inside bunker. I thought it was. Let's have a look around here. this part. I think this just leads to another lever. We had to close this door to open the next one. I still remember that, but that's just another. Yeah. Nope, oh, it's alright. happened after we went there last time. We did fight Ilsids here last time, but then the time before that we were just fighting priests. We got to the media, the media couldn't be destroyed. Now it's saying go to the Ilsids bunker. is this place. Mm. Yeah, this way for the lich. speak to someone maybe we should visit the, uh, the daughter of the king the rebels because I kind of had a feeling that maybe she is kind of the, the, the backup plan for Akbar to manifest I'm guessing we're not supposed to go here we could go up through the uh it's probably this way go back through the the inn or the um the tavern Yeah, 
I should have gone down. All right. Anything going on here? Did you know that this place dates back to when there was still a sun in the sky and we lived above ground? It was called the Yellow Rose then. Funny, isn't it? Why would you build a tavern underground if there was still sunlight out? Oh, ma maybe. Come closer. I can feel that luck is with us today. Maybe it belonged to the dwarves back then. That must be it then. Let's give you some food. There you go. Hello. Nice little spot, don't you think? Mm -hmm. So, nah, I don't think that door is supposed to open anyway. So, yeah, let's go speak to the king. And if that doesn't work, we'll go speak to the rebels. And otherwise, I'm not really sure where to go look. I think you could always enchant weapon even if you didn't invest into uh, magic spells at all or casting. Save us, Guardian. <laughs> Trying. I don't know where the meteor is supposed to be right now. May you save the fate of Ox. Find and destroy Akba. May the wisdom of the Noden guide you, Amshagar. Look at my sword. It's blue. Bright blue. Okay, what was the quickest way? way to the rebels city of Ox, goblin prison goblin city it might be goblin city actually yeah sure it's fine yeah it should be pretty close to this place i think Him. 
actually managed to finish this quest. It is one of the uh, one of those games that's kind of off the list now <laughs> of classic games that I feel like I probably should finish but never had. Um, two of them are kind of um, connected to this game. Uh, the original Thief games 1 and 2. I played quite a bit of them but never finished them. I think I got the farthest in Thief 1. I also played a few levels of Thief 2. Camp. We are here to protect Aaliyah. Aaliyah, that's her name. You okay? So they all seem to be alive and well. So they're not like besieged by ill sits. Okay, well, she's still there. <sighs> you said it. Hmm. <laughs> Aha. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Um. Aha. Let me check. Hmm. So I did a little bit of checking. I think we're on the right level, but we should be somewhere else. Not entirely sure where, though. Um, let's just have a look around. looking around the uh, teleporter. So yeah, once again I had to kind of check a guide. I didn't read it in too much detail. Sad thing uh. about, about using a guide is that you basically just are directly told where to go and it doesn't really not really show um, naturally where to go and how to get to places maybe one of those goblins hit the key uh, this, this was a trap Kind of like uh, finding out about the dragon. Me hungry. Shut up. You is dead meat, you human. I just kind of knew where the, uh, the, the level where the dragon was supposed to be, but I, I don't know if there's any like in-game way to figure out where he is.
it's just a case of, well, the game doesn't really point you anyway, it's just you should have explored. Or did we just miss a hint somewhere? that we can dispel. Oh. Um, Shigar, I've been thinking. Perhaps you are right. My father should know I'm alive. It must be your decision. Please, show him this, my signet ring. The sacred dagger took it as proof of my heritage when they saved me. Tell my father I'll wait for him by the lake. All right. My beautiful daughter, Aaliyah, I had lost all hope of ever seeing you again. Father, it's so good to meet you at last. I have missed you so much. This is unbelievable. I am so overjoyed to find you still alive. That joy is shared, Father. By the gods. This is a precious moment for my daughter and me. I shall allow no one to come and disturb it. Leave this room immediately. Don't be ridiculous. Good heavens, what are you doing here? You have what you want. Krauhaus is back in your hands, so I don't know what you think you're doing here. What has this to do with Krauhaus? We are here to celebrate the return of Aliyah among her own, her true family, our order. Have you lost your mind? Perhaps you've lost your memory. Behold this treaty. The very pact agreed between our two peoples by Poxellus, your father. In the name of the kingdom, I, King Poxellus, King of Arcs, pledge my fourth direct descendant to the Order of Adornium. In return, the Order shall provide the kingdom with Kraus and Zohark. This child was promised to us, Lunshire. Let her come with us, or prepare what kind of to die. Is that? Never. I was aware of no such treaty. I refute it entirely. What cause could you have to take my daughter? Guards! What? Don't be rash, Lunshire. Have some sense for a change. What good are your swords against us? I thought you were a little more intelligent than that. This treaty was to ensure the rebirth of our queen. It just happened to save your pathetic kingdom as well. Uh -huh. We need a queen, and that queen is Aaliyah. Aaliyah shall be queen, but queen of the humans. Comrades! Fight to the death! Enough. No more bloodshed. I will honor Poxellus's word. I know not what lies in store for me in the Order of Adernium, but it is not for me to bring judgment upon this treaty. The kingdom would never have won the War of the Meiji without the Order's help, and we must honor our promises. Father, I accept this, because in my eyes, honor is the most important quality. I hope we shall meet again soon. But I'm afraid I must leave you now.
Alright, just like that. That happened. And they're all gone. Right, where were we? We're through here. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if we actually were to visit... Wait. It's no longer active. Oh, it is. Oh, now I've activated all of them. Cool. Um, what happens if we go to... What happens if we just get stuck? All right. Nope, can't go that way. I kind of want to see if Alia is uh, present now in the uh, Sisters of Adonium uh, temple. Let's do a quick check. Make a save here. Goblin City, Troll Mine, the Adonium. They abandoned this place. King of the castle. What's this? Doesn't work. Okay, well, back to where we were. this way. Alright, let's see. Wait, what's the other way? But this, ah, this is shorter. What's back here? Nothing. Maybe more rats by the sound of it. Though I think I just have a dispel field anyway. Which may as well use it. There we go. Oh yeah. I think I've been here once. Explode. Um, I can't cast this spell yet. Uh, I'm out of it. Okay. Let's um, put some spells on our hot bar. I want to have that quick spell, that's pretty good. Levitate now. Speed. 
That's not that difficult. There we go. been a case of you, you should have just explored more because I remember being here a long while ago and I was wondering why the <laughs> why the enemies were so hard because I think back then I hadn't uh, I, I hadn't fought any ilsids yet and I think this might have been closed off but I'm not no 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 I've been I've been in this place but again the enemies were just so darn hard that I turned around at some point or I might have gotten stuck. Which maybe now we won't. I think speed works until the mana runs out. It's not very efficient, I guess. But we survived. Let's eat something. And, uh... Hmm. I'm trying to... S maybe I could use a negate magic field. How would that work though? No, that's not the right one. Fuse might be good, but prevents any magic event from working within a given radius around a spellcaster. Is that one any different? It's the same. Yep. I'm taking it. <laughs> Not even sure I have any use for it, but I'm taking it anyway. 
Well, we have a key. Wait. Oh, I guess... Probably the upper level. Yeah, we can use stuff. It's an immersive sim. Check behind the pillows. Haha. Chat object. One gold coin. I guess they didn't like his uh, loot playing very much. If that is even is a loot, could be something else. Taking it. Locked. Okay. Eating your drumsticks. I think there's something bad behind that door. Sounds like it. Piece of cast metal. Still trap? Yeah, I don't think that anything is going to be better than what we have right now. Just about to say that's a trap. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think I can release it. But I'd feel bad. Locked. Oh, this is uh, the big cheese's uh, room. If I was a Serbius, where would I put a key? Go. Maybe one of the 
little beasties has it. Anyway, let's read this. Is this very long? Is this a long-winded guy? It is. It is important for me to leave the story of my life in these pages, for if something happens to me, I will help. It will help my successor to serve the Order's cause. I have decided to devote my entire life to my beloved Akbar. From the moment I learn of his existence until I draw my final breath, I will worship him. Akbar has given me what no man could ever dream of. I still remember the blessed day I met Lord Long. It was the year 240. Immediately we met... Immediately... We met each other's eyes when we met... We met each other. A powerful affinity between us became apparent. He was like a second father to me, and I am sure that I, that for him, I was the son he never had. Some time after, when I made my first real entrance into the cult, he made it known to me that I should be his successor. When I was still a novice, he told me everything about the cult and about Akbar himself. He told me that the ultimate goal of the cult was to invoke Akbar into our dimension. That he had laid the foundation to make this invocation ritual happen, but that unfortunately he would not live to see the day of its completion. Thanks to his powerful clairvoyance, he had already seen the hour of his death. He begged me to continue the preparations needed to fulfill Akbar's grand design. When he died the following year, just as he had predicted, his prophetic words resounded in my mind, and when I had just been accepted as a full member of the cult, I was made into high I was made its high priest. This day marked my greatest grief and my greatest joy. The immeasurable grief of losing my mentor and father and the unspeakable joy of knowing that our Lord's coming was imminent. A long period of research started for me then. I became closer and closer to Akbar, as close as a mere mortal can be to a god. I saw what cannot be seen, heard things that make no sound and felt things that no man could ever hope to feel. Akbar gave me more and more power, some physical power of course, but also a great mastery of the magic arts. Akbar is more than a god to me. He is my son, my heir and my nourishment. He is everything to me. Thanks to his supernatural inspiration, I took the reins of his cult with an iron hand. I began by purging the cult of members that no longer served a useful purpose. Unsatisfactory results now proved as dangerous to these individuals as their shoddiness was to ourselves. After this essential task had been complete, I had time to plan every aspect of Asbar's, Akbar's arrival, right down to the finest detail. It was essential that our order remain completely covert until it was too late to do anything to stop us. This is when I learned that Fallon Orbi Planex had guessed my true purpose and had desired to oppose Akbar's coming with the help of the Noden. This was the, um, the, the, um, kind of the, um, um, a court magister or a court magician that was killed in the beginning of the game. Uh, to stop the Nolan from getting involved, I made some important decision. First, I sent an assassin to kill all the planets who had become too great of danger. The assassin was a rat man. Second, I brought forward the date of Akbar's coming. However, we didn't did not have everything in place to invoke him. Therefore, I ordered that we step up the frequency of sacrificing non-believers by rounding them up, by rounding them up in large numbers. Women and even children would do. I had no time to discriminate. Further, I stepped up. To the intensity of our prayers, encouraging more and more members of the cult to give themselves in sacrifice so that Akbar would finally hear the prayers. Day after day I marveled at the sum of knowledge and power that Akbar made available to me. To my amazement, Akbar promised, promised to me even more upon his arrival, and that he would leave the destiny of Ox in my hands. Alright. Hello.
There we go. All right, let's see. What's this? What is this? Have I seen something like this? I don't have something like this. <gasps> I think I know what I need. I need those, uh, those, those, those statues, those little red things. Um, I know I left one in the city of Ox. Okay. Well. I guess that'll do it for this episode. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have a look. To see if I can find those things. So how, I need... Five of them? Yeah. I guess. There weren't any around here by chance. It would be nice if I could test it to see if it's actually what I think it is. Yeah. Alright, I'm, cu I'm curious now. What's going to happen? Yeah. Thought as much. for the best. Okay, the, the troll doesn't have a key by chance. Nope. Ooh. I'm really not sure why I can seem to activate this skull, but looks like I can't really use it. Anyway, yeah, so in the next episode, I'll, I'll see if I can find those statues, and I'm going to try. I'm guessing that's... Yeah, that would be my best guess, that I need those things. So, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching this far, and uh, hope to see you next time, but for now, farewell.